assignment for our class, what was your initial feeling when you were asked to do this? The first initial reaction I had was fear. Fear of failure, I guess. For the entire group and for our assignment and just everything. I really feel like every person in this group has really grown very attached to the project. I mean, pretty much I eat, drink, sleep, consortium. How on earth did you come across great singers, you know? Well, this is actually Kevin. How I get to know great singers from a friend of mine who goes to the shop pretty often. And I, I just remember probably a year ago, he was telling me he's giving a concert at Great Singers. And I remember the time when, when we were walking in Broadway, you know, having an hour of time to figure out where to play. I actually thought of Great Singers. So I just threw out that out to my friends and we decided to keep the shot. So, so you didn't even know you were going to Great Singers. You just got on Broadway and ran up. Right. You know, we, we had a, a solid hour to find this this concert and um, stress right there. Yeah, the blood like pressure the rises. The frantic vibe. I mean, it was just it was just. Uh, we practically ran down Broadway. I yeah. To Greg's we place. had it was a long walk and it was yeah it was very intense. But during that walk, I actually felt like I got to know all of all of the members of the group true. so well and. Uh, we got to discuss names. Well, and we came up with the Juilliard Consortium such a hodgepodge that it's a consortium of instruments. And uh, there's kind of a little pun there with the consort, you know, of instruments. And um, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 I like that. Oh, well, how, how are you feeling about um, playing Yui's music? I mean, I'm personally very excited to hear it, to hear how it turns out. Well, I'm always very excited to play you know, new music. I think that new compo you know, that student composers need to be encouraged and, right. and uh, supported. Uh, it's such an, a weird instrumentation. You have three violins and an oboe and uh, and a cello in there, and um, and then piano and composer. And, and so, what do you do with that? A piece or arrangement um, of you know all the people we have in this group so that we can end the concert with everyone together. Thinking of the season, which is spring, and, um, and I, want, I want to do something American. Um, I chose Shenandoah. I really love the sound of English horn, and I love the oboe too, but because I never used um, English horn before, I thought this was the time to, you know, um, have you know, it's a chance to, you know, actually write for one. So, yeah, I think um, it came out very well, I think. Yeah. Did you pay thousands of dollars to play at Greg's uh, venue, or how, what is the agreement? Did you sign a contract in blood, or? F-R-E-E, -E. So speaking about booking a free concert, I really have to thank Mr. Singer, because, of course, when you have to rent their space, you have to pay. And we told him about it's a classic assignment that we have no budget. And he actually was very, very willing to not charge us. I would say the best part of it was the warm reception from Greg. He welcomed us into the shop. Open arms. In New York City, I, mean, I don't think I thought of, you know, booking it, like booking free. Whole and I could actually want to look for one if I didn't have this assignment. Mm -hmm. Right. That was a success overall. Mm -hmm. That's um, great. So, do you think you want to do any more of this kind of booking in the future? Yeah. Definitely. Where might you utilize these skills? Well, I am working on my own 501c3 organization. It's an educational and performance. Uh, music conservatory festival in Savannah, Georgia, which is where I am from. So we want to educate young musicians, introduce classical music to them, play some concerts, 
So yeah, I would use the skills that I learned here with this project. I think it's so important that, you know, we are in the position now as young people, you know, like we are the age of the target audience. That in this class, in this career development course, we were discussing ways in which we could uh, improve the classical music situation. Just thinking about targeting that audience, I'm trying to start and establish like a, a classical music, like a chamber series in Salt Lake City, in the clubs and bars downtown, and that would target these, you know, the people that don't really have enough access to this kind of music. Success. Success. That's great. Well, thank you for your time. Please welcome our Dakinyani trio, Gareth Zangut, Kevin Lin, and Eve Damraj. Uh, sit back and enjoy the show.